Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So, it's just me today. I actually need to redo my makeup. We're going to a baby shower later this afternoon, so I figured I would just wash my face and then redo my makeup. Because it's kind of starting to like settle into like the creases in my face, so I thought it would be kind of fun to just do my makeup and talk to you guys and yeah, just kind of catch up. So, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face real quick. went to like this little Easter event that Damar's real estate team was hosting for all their clients and for, I guess, their own family. So we brought the girls and it was really fun. Um, Sky is getting to a really fun age where she's starting to enjoy stuff like that. So it took her a little bit of time to kind of warm up and like actually like run around and play with the other kids and stuff. but. Yeah, it was really pretty outside, so I was thankful that it was at least nice because the event was outdoors. So I really wanted to just like talk to you guys a little bit about mostly like DMs on Instagram in regards to Sky and how little she is. For those of you who don't know, Sky is my oldest daughter. She is going to be two this month on the 30th, which is crazy to think about. I'm just gonna use this um, professional face primer. I love this stuff definitely helps minimize my pores on my cheeks. I usually just do it on my T-zone and then a little bit on the sides of my nose. But yeah, so Skye's my oldest daughter. If you've ever seen her in person, you know she's very little. And I mean, even in pictures, you can tell, especially next to Tatum. Um, they are about the same eight, the same size and Tatum is only eight months. So it's pretty funny to see just their differences and how they both have the same genetics and everything, but Sky's just a little girl. So I've talked about this before in other videos in regards to Sky and just like my pregnancy with her. Um, she was actually growth restricted. They started to realize that she wasn't growing at a normal pace around like 23 weeks. And so I was monitored extra closely for pretty much my entire pregnancy. So I had so much fear and anxiety surrounding that, just feeling so out of control and like I couldn't eat enough. There was nothing that they ever found. Like it was just the fact that she was small. Like they always checked my fluid levels. The blood flow through the umbilical cord was totally normal. Um, I didn't have like anything else like that. They could not find anything and they couldn't figure it out. It just was a lot of like, honestly unnecessary like anxiety that I was having. So, I can't talk and do this at the same time. I've been using Maybelline New York concealer and I usually just conceal under my eyes and then any other um, blemishes that I have, but I don't usually like to wear foundation. I just feel really, really cakey with the ones that I've tried. Plus, I just like to feel like my skin can breathe as much as possible. But yeah, so anyways, I feel like I was caused a lot of just unnecessary anxiety just like from just knowing that she was so small um, and being aware of it. I remember being like 37 weeks pregnant with her and people would ask me like, oh, how far along were you? And that wasn't just when I was 37 weeks. It was literally my entire pregnancy. Everybody would ask me. And I would tell them and they'd be like, there's no way, like she's so small, like you're so tiny, there's no way there's a full baby in there. And that used to drive me crazy because it was like, I was already so self-conscious and like nervous and just worried about her in general that those comments just drove me nuts. So I really just let it affect me more than I probably should have. But I'm not gonna lie, like it still bugs me a lot when people make comments about like how small she is and all this stuff. She's proven time and time again that she's perfect healthy like I had her full time term at 39 weeks and no complications she's four pounds 12 ounces so obviously very very tiny I mean like no really other explanation as to why she was so small maybe other than just genetics but she had to do a few extra tests because she was so little she needed to do like a car seat test in the NICU which only I think it was like a four hour test no I lied it's like a two hour test where they have to sit in the in their little car seat because apparently when babies are that little they have a hard time breathing within certain positions sometimes so sometimes when they're in their car seat it can cause them to not breathe properly so they have you put your baby 
in the car seat that you're planning to bring them home in and sit them there for two hours and they have like monitors all over them to like guarantee that they're breathing okay before we can take them home. So that was really the only extra test that we had to do with her and we took her home like any other baby. I guess where I'm going with this is if you're a mom, you know what it's like when people make comments about your kids and things that you may already think about, you know, and it's just unnecessary for things to, for people to point out certain things about them. Um, so I'm sure you can relate to me on that. Some of the um, just frustration and fear surrounding being a mom. I use the um, CoverGirl <laughs> loose powder. I honestly don't have like the actual container because I usually just like add it and put it in this little one because I hate having the really big clunky one in my makeup bag, so I usually just put a little bit under my eyes to set that. There's a Laura Mercier. It's, I believe the color is peach. Yeah, it's the, her peach blush. Love this so much. Whenever I post pictures of them like together, everybody's always like, oh my god, like which one's the baby? Like why is the baby the same size? as your oldest and I have this Too Faced um, chocolate bronzer. Love this stuff and it actually tastes really good. I never intentionally eat it but sometimes it kind of like poofs in my mouth and it tastes just like chocolate. But um, so that's literally the number one thing that people say and it just really drives me crazy and I take it offensive which I shouldn't because um, I know most people are probably just like seriously curious like maybe they have like a similar situation where the younger one is getting to be the same size as the older I don't know this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow whiz pencil love this I just kind of line and fill in wherever I need it I think what it is too as a mom I don't know if everybody's like this but I feel myself taking offense to towards comments like that as if it's my fault you know as if it's my fault that she's not growing to the rate that like some kids do not that something's wrong with her it's just the fact that she's little and she has little genetics um but yeah it can be taken personally because it's like i'm her caregiver you know i'm the one who feeds her i'm the one who does everything for her and so when comments are made as if i'm not doing that well um i guess it's just like it, it's offensive. I would just say that people should be more aware and conscious of the things that they comment on when it comes to other people's kids. Oh, and this is the 24-hour brow setter by Benefit. And then usually, this is actually like a foundation, but I've recently got it. It's the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter Foundation. I just got the um, travel size because I didn't know how I'd like it, but I wasn't using like any highlighter for a very long time, but I was like, well, it's about to be summertime. I'd like to look a little more glowy, so I just really love how it makes my skin look. So I usually just dab a few dots and a little bit on my nose, and then I just blend that out. But yeah, I think it just adds like a natural like looking glow to my skin. I really like it. Then I'm just curling my eyelashes with... Honestly, this is just the most generic, basic eyelash curler you can get at like any drugstore or like Target or someplace like that. Okay, now that my eyelashes are curled, I usually use this voluminous base. It's like a mascara primer. Basically, to summarize everything that I was saying, like I'm learning to just be confident in who I am as a mom and as a mother to my girls and like just believing in myself more and trusting that like I'm doing the right things and trying not to let people's voices ring so loud in my head. But yeah, it's just an ongoing process and learning thing where it's like everybody's gonna have their own opinion on like the way that you decide to do things with your kids but like you just have to do whatever you feel in your heart is right and that's all you can do so that's what i'm learning right now okay i am ready to go i feel so much more fresh thank you guys so much for watching another one of our videos and for coming to my basically ted talk <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed it if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to our channel like this video and follow us on all of our social media links down below and we will see you guys in our next video. Hightower family out.